Are you looking for an inexpensive pump for your backyard pond? Well, I'm gonna find out today whether this is a good option. One of them that I got on Amazon, and I'm gonna try it for my pond here and see how it works. So we'll go ahead and open this up, try to set it up in the pond and see how well it works. So let's go ahead and get that done. Hey guys, this is Sean from Sean's DIY and Reviews. And on this channel, I do DIY around the house type of projects as well as electronics reviews, something like this. So check around my channel if you see other videos that you like. Hope I uh, earn you as a subscriber. If you learned something in this video, give a thumbs up and let's get into it. Okay, so this was a inexpensive, obviously Chinese pump that I got. I don't speak Chinese, but I'm guessing that's what it is. And uh, it has different markings for different countries, but obviously I got the 120 volt, not a 240 volt here in the United States. So let's go ahead and open this guy up. So the tape job on the packaging was a little odd, like maybe it would have been, maybe it was repacked before. Um, looking at this, it looks like it definitely has plenty of a length on the cord. So you have plenty of room to get to wherever the electrical source is. And then here's the pump itself. It's got a screw on part right there. And no markings on it at all, it's completely generic. So we'll set that aside. And then the other package is gonna be all your attachments and hoses. So we have this little guy here. We have this tube right here. And we have different spraying situations, I guess, here. So we're gonna figure all these out and I'm gonna tell you what they're all about. So this one's got a little bit of a, a this one's got a valve, which allows you to close off. I don't know if you can see in there, but it allows you, allows you to close and open the valve there. And then this one is for this side here. And then here's one other piece right here. So we're gonna go ahead and get this all set up and show you how it all works with all the pieces. All right, so I took a couple minutes to familiarize myself with what's here. And here's the instructions and it basically shows you have your pump, you have this adapter and now you can use it with or without this ad adapter. And this adapter is used as I was showing before to regulate the amount of water that goes through this. So you can choose to use it with it or without it. Without it, obviously it just has its own single pump pressure that happens. And with this, you can adjust it. So I'd probably recommend using it because you can always open it wide open or, or not. Obviously you get a little bit of height. So starting with the pump, you got the pump, then you have this adapter. Then you have your fixture screw, which is right here. And then this extendable pipe, which goes up and down to give you more length or less length, depending on how low you want to put the pump down. Then you have your fountain head, which is this guy, which will screw fountain head right there that screws onto this mid pipe. And then you have several options as far as what kind of screw on that you have on here. So. They call them effects, but there's three different types of effects or types of ways that the water can run. The one that came in there is the first one, which is over here, and it looks like it just sprays everywhere. The second one is more of a, like the individual lines, and the third one looks a little bit more like a mist. So we'll try each one of those out and show you how each one of those works. Um, the other thing to note is that on here, you have the ability to have two inputs. So when you put this on here onto the pump, you can choose to uh, obviously both run the pump out of the top, but then also have another one as a, um, an inlet or out outlet to move water. So basically you can water a lawn or do whatever you want from a, uh, using this pump to pump water out. And that's, that's what it says uh, over here. So we'll set this up out at my pond and see how it looks. See what happens when we drop it in here. If I got enough distance to go down. All right, so I got it in there right now up a decent distance and we'll grab our plug. I'll estimate that the length of this cord is probably gonna be around 30 feet, 25 feet, somewhere in that range. So let's plug this in and see what we have. I wanna demonstrate what it looks like when the various switches are moved. So as you can see right there, that would be if the side uh, 
nozzle is turned on. I'll go ahead and turn that off. This would be with the initial piece on there that came in the box. So it's just kind of dribbling over the outside. And this is simply if you only had the alternate nozzle. So again, I guess if you wanted to water something with that or put a hose on there, you could do that. So there it is in the kind of standard head right there. And it moved a little bit, so you definitely would have to kind of secure it in place in the direction that you want it. But, you know, we're getting water up out of the pond and circulating, so there we go. And I'll show you what it looks like with the other two heads on there. This is the original one that was first came with it, which I would say I like the least. And finally, here's the third attachment. I don't know, I think I like this one the best. And again, it's just to aerate this pond and it doesn't look bad. I think uh, I'll, I could, would love to add some lights, maybe add some lighting around the pond or that kind of thing. But, you know, I think this, this one looks okay. And yeah, let me know in the comments below which one of the three you like. So I think the final key to the puzzle is really whether or not this thing holds up for the long haul and that's something that I'm just going to let it run for a while and I'll let you know in the comments below how long the thing lasts. But for under 30 bucks, uh, it's moving water around my pond, which I think is about all I could really ask for. And uh, you know, I don't think it looks anything fancy or like, wow, this is really nice. Maybe if I put it down at the water level, maybe get this Maybe get this down to just above the water. It might look a little nicer, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it for the price and for what it does. I think it's okay. Let me know what your thoughts are, what you recommend, and uh, you know, hopefully if this is something that's useful to you. Check out the link to where you could get it in the description below. And uh, thanks for watching the video. Definitely consider subscribing, and we'll see you in the next one.